Leo singles welcome. This is your singles read, the last half of January 2022. We're starting out. This is showing where you are in and around love and relationships. Uh, helps me get a beat on things, and you can see if you're resonating. But this is emotional. The Queen of Cups uh, really has mastery of her own emotions. Uh, Queen of Cups is emotionally strong, but yet emotionally available, kind of the perfect mixture. Think of cancer energy. Leos, you know, you could have cancer energy, personal plants, Mercury, Mars, Venus there, or something else, or something in the fourth house, uh, you know. Uh, and you're facing into the reading, you know. This shows a cancer, uh, a Leo of some maturity. Um, you're offering your cup here. Um I'm not sure I see a person exactly with the moon card we're ending up. Uh, if it is, it'd be, I think, a Pisces. But what's blocking you is a transformation. And so with the blocking, you could think of it as if, if it's in reverse. So uh, the death reversed is uh, kind of a, maybe we know, you know, that we're going to transform or we know that we are transforming or we no, we feel it. It's, but yeah, it, it's scary. You know, I I have to go with like a, it's a metaphor, but you know, tripping on large doses of mushrooms, you with you know, the ego death, and it's like death. It's scary as fuck, honestly. Uh, so you know, because there's an element of the loss of self here, like you know that ego, the loss of ego is the self, right? Um, and it, it can have like an inevitable. A, a feeling to it, but we can fear it and try to put it off and best we can. Uh, it would be unusual. Um, and that would be kind of what's in the way of you getting your cup of love. But the advice from spirit is the nine of cups. Now the overall energy, I should say up above here, you have the 10 of cups. So uh, very positive. You're really focused uh, with a lot of your emotions on love. You know, if you're manifesting this would 100% be something that's blocking you, could be helpful. Uh, you, you know, you would probably look at Pluto, this Pluto-Venus retrogrades. Venus is very heavily involved with Pluto and Capricorn there. So wherever that's hitting um, is going to be maybe what's going on. It's something to do with Pluto. That could be sextile or trine or square or posing something in your chart uh, in any number of ways hitting you, because, uh, you know, could be hitting your uh, Saturn, hitting your uh, Venus, uh, anything. Uh, but with the advice from Spirit being the Nine of Cups, it's, uh, I always think, you know, when you get the Nine of Cups, you know, you're, you're emotionally fulfilled. Uh, you don't need anybody else to fulfill you. Um, typically, it's kind of like the Nine of Pentacles, too. There's a feeling of uh, you can take care of yourself, uh, it's happy, and you know, with this Queen of Cups, it's really kind of the universe, the overall energy, the Ten of Cups. It's like, there's a promise that this Ten of Cups energy is here. I got to think of the astral train, I call it, you know. Uh, in the astral world, there's already uh, manifested, but you're not seeing it yet, you know. Uh, maybe it's not, you can almost see it. There's like some dark clouds or something fog in the way. But the way to get there is that self-love, being fulfilled in yourself and happy in yourself. And I think like here, I got to say, Leo's, it's like a sense of, uh, you know, God, it's really close. You know, I got the, this, whatever this is, this transformation, maybe you're kind of still in the throes of it or it's just ending. Uh, but at some point in there, you know, you... You know, you just, in terms of love and relationships, the Queen of Cups and emotions, you're, you're going to change, basically. So whatever you, however you were dealing with emotions before, it's going to change. It's going to tend to be, you're going to be more self-contained emotionally, uh, more mature emotionally, more fulfilled emotionally. I mean, this is classic, um, I don't know what to call it, belief system of manifestation, the rhetoric of manifestation, you know, uh, and when you have the Ten of Cups involved, there's overall energy. 
Um, the outcome with the moon, it just means that something's um, still going to be unclear. It's not something that's going to happen soon. It's going to be related to Jupiter. It's uh, banging through about four degrees Pisces. It's going to be ripping through Pisces. And even within a few months hitting Neptune. So wherever that's in your chart, it's going to be 21 degrees Neptune. 21 degrees Pisces. Uh, I forget when, but it's coming. And it's just, you know, this is uh, Jupiter energy. We are fortunate. I feel like it's some kind of trigger. And it's just like it's hard to wrap your mind around it because, yeah, it's coming from this, uh, you know, <clears throat> unlimited reality. And uh, we're in our limited reality, so we don't have like a due date. or They can't call in a cell or text us, say, hey, we'll be there at a certain time. But it's like I think you have to have Jupiter's also about faith. Um, that, you know, the, the way you're uh, being here, uh, Leo, uh, mastering your emotions and being mature and self-fulfilled, self-contained, uh, you're just absolutely drawn in this manifestation. Will Fortune, you know, they always say, is going to usually turn in your favor. No reason not to think that. Jupiter, I think, is going to be very generous, you know, unless it's aspecting things in a difficult way. But Pisces should, should be fine, and um, it's going to be some kind of energy. It's going to bring you uh, wicked good luck uh, and good fortune. And we're talking about love, romance, and relationships. So let me know, Leo, uh, what you think of this. I appreciate it. If you give me a like and help get the algorithm to promote things. Do subscribe if you haven't hit the bell. Wednesdays are always Leo and Vernon Day. Dave Scott Terrell. Thank you, guys.